So I recently posted a video where I've done a material test in Lightburn on some white marble. And if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link in the description and you can check it out if you like. But up until that point, I didn't realize my diode laser, it's a 40 watt, but I still didn't realize that it would etch on marble, much less cut down into it. And it done a pretty good job. Got some good depth on that. So now that I know it'll do it, we're going to take another coaster. And I realize there's several grades of uh, marble, but these, that's pretty tough. I'm glad it didn't break while I was doing that. But I'm going to take another coaster. I picked these up at the thrift store. That's a great place to get practice materials. Uh, and we're just going to put a vector on here, maybe a couple of hearts overlapping. And then we're going to do a paint field. So with any shiny material like this, uh, it's got a glare to it, you want to cover it with something, some painter's tape or some other paint so you don't run the risk of damaging your laser. So we'll put on some painter's tape. We're going to etch our uh, engraving through. I'll clean out the dust, do a paint fill, and then we'll all see how that works together. Welcome to the channel. I'm Dave. Let's get right to it. Okay, so we're in light burn, and this will be quick. I'm going to use a heart from my art library, and if you want to know how to make one of these from scratch, uh, I'll drop a link in the description to a video that will show you how to do just that. Uh, we're just going to stretch this out to a width of about 115 millimeters. That will uh, that'll be about the size of the heart that we're etching on. And then we'll get a couple of copies of that. Control D for duplicate. And we're going to make a smaller one to go here. So we'll turn this larger one into a tool to make sure we don't start etching that. Now remember, you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel. You can push down and move the entire canvas around. So, we're going to take this one, and instead of a line, I think we'll do a fill. So, I'm going to do a offset, and we'll do it about 0.5 of a millimeter, like that. Just something small, and when you want to... Um, engrave in between these lines just select one it doesn't matter which shift and select the other if you can get it like that and then set it on your fill layer and then you can check it on preview and it's on another screen but you can see that it's going to etch in between the lines or engrave uh, so we'll go to that fill layer now using my my test that i've done i know that a speed of 10 millimeters per second and a power of 50 uh, will put a pretty good mark on there so that's what we're going to set it for uh, the tool has no output. In fact, we can turn off the frame as well. So we're going to get two of these. Just select Control D, get a copy. And we're just going to overlap them. Something like that. Uh, select and then group it all together. <clears throat> then we can just move it over. To our big heart and put it somewhere around in there should be good uh, then we'll see how long this is going to take four minutes 51 seconds so <clears throat> we'll give that a try and that's on a fill I didn't do offset fill because uh, the offset fill pattern is circular and with smaller objects, it, it makes the laser head jerk around too much, in my opinion. So, uh, 
I just leave it on normal field if it's something small. So uh, let's uh, jump into laser. I'll set this up and we'll see what happens. All right, folks, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're all set up in the laser. I covered everything with painter's tape. So when I do the paint field, I won't get any overspray. And I just want to give a quick warning. When I've done the material test, I noticed that the laser has a significant strobe light effect with this marble. So if you need to take precautions, please do so. I don't want anyone hurting their eyes. It'll be a quick clip. I'll speed it up. And uh, so again, I'm using 10 millimeters per second, 50% power on a 40 watt laser. So let's send this code on over and see what happens. Okay, well, here's what we got. So we'll clean this out and uh, spray some paint on it, take everything apart and uh, see what it looks like. I'll be right back, folks. Okay, I just cleaned the dust out with, uh, with some canned air. I have a compressor sitting over here. I just didn't want to fire it up for that little bit. And we're just going to spray some, uh, some paint, gloss enamel, black. And we're going to let that dry and see what we got after we take the tape off. All right, folks, be right back. Okay, well, here's our finished piece. Looks like it turned out pretty good. Got a good deep engrave, got it filled with paint. If you give this a try, uh, do a material test first so you can get uh, some proper settings to start with and then you can play around with it to get it just right. Uh, if you have questions about this or any other project I have posted, just let me know. Uh, or any general laser or light burn questions, I'm glad to help out. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe because it does help the channel grow. And uh, it helps keep me in the shop so I can keep trying things and sharing them with you folks. So I appreciate your time in watching. Check back often for new videos. Take care, and we'll see you all next time. Thank you.